Hello, welcome to Audience with Nero. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. He's holding up this uh, expansion for Nations the Dice game and it's so exciting. This game is designed by Nina Håkansson and Rustam Håkansson and it's published by Lotapellit.fi and Stronghold Games. And let's just get right into it. And as you can see there, Rustam has even uh, uh, signed the the front here because Martin met him at Essen. If you haven't seen that, you can check out the link up there to see the interview that Martin did with Rustam. And uh, when Rustam tells you some stuff about the game or the expansion. Oh, this is a bit, oh, there's things falling out here. Okay. Oh, I'll just pour everything out here now. This is, this is for, kind of like Dynasty's for, for nations, this sort of uh, chocolate box, I would call it. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so let's see. Now it's easier for Draco to hold it, it's not so heavy. And so let's see what's in here. So, first of all, we have green dice. What is this? Okay, so we have books, we recognize those, stones, gold, two gold, two food, and two swords. There's two of everything. And there's a fist. I have no idea how that works, <laughs> but I will find out. I'm so excited for this. Okay, what is it like? Uh, eight, I guess. Yeah, okay. And so where's the uh, the manual? And here's the player board, and this is interesting. Okay, so America, because now we have sort of different. Yeah, we have, they are different now. So America seems to start instead of you know the uh, normal gold and reroll token, we have a white die, uh, an extra white die, and the reroll token. So I guess they start with six white dice. That's so cool. And Korea, oh look at this. Korea starts with what? They have two, three, four, five. Yeah, they also have an extra white die. But if you cover it up, you lose two dice. That's really cool. And you get a gold token if you get an advisor. Wow. Okay, and two rerolls to start off. That's really strong. These these guys seem uh, really strong. Okay. And then we have. Let's go through this. We have Mongolia. Also the same thing with the gold there, and they start with two swords. So a new token, obviously, with two swords and the reroll. So they're really strong in the military to start off. Cool. And Poland. Start like normal, but look at this, they start with a book income and two advice. No, 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 they don't start with it. They have two advisor slots. And if you cover this one up, you get, uh, oh. Wow, 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 this is so cool. This is one thing I really uh, miss, uh, sort of, uh, I wanted to have in Nations of Life game. I thought in the base game that uh, that was something I really felt like was missing in the game. Having these different, uh, you know, having the different nations actually have different stuff to start with. So the Arabs, they only have, oh yeah, yeah Poland also have only four white dice to begin with. Uh, Arabs only have four, they can have two wonders being built though. That's kind of cool. And then you get the reroll up there. And I, I'm not sure, but I guess that if you put an advisor here and he has a reroll token on him, you know, as they usually have. Then I guess you get two or something. I'm not sure. Maybe you start with a reroll, and then when you put an advisor, you don't get it anymore because you covered it up like these are. I'm not sure. We'll find out once we get into the game. There will be a gameplay run through of this very soon, of course. Okay, and we uh, they start with a stone token as well because they're good at building wonders, right? So Ethiopia starts with two stone tokens or a double one. Uh, and they only have four white dice. They have, oh, that was weird. They only have four spots down here. So, I mean, not only do they only have four, I mean, it's the same for these guys, right? It's not just that they have just four, start with just four white dice. They also can only put new four new buildings here. That's going to affect the, the play a lot. Okay, so let's see, are they, okay, so that's the, so there's six new, the six of these, okay. That's cool, there's that's some re replayability there, um, of course. And we have, well, the double tokens. Uh, this token, uh, I don't know what it does, really. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, double sword is cool, of course. Uh, not a stone, I guess you need that because, yeah, okay. And uh, reroll, 
one of those. This is, I guess, this has something to do with the real somehow. And uh, so here we have like assassins. There you get that green die. That I don't know how it works uh, yet. And white and so on. You have new. Well, there's the special real thingies. Uh, okay, and a three pointer. That's really good. We have. Oh, this is nice. So they separated this. Used to be you get do this or you do that and get the same amount of points. Here, if you do five food, I guess this is for the. Oh, this is for the third. Oh. Uh, so if you, you do five food, you get five points. If you do three swords, you get three points and so on. But there is like four swords only get three points. Okay, it's kind of. Oh, that's cool. New event tiles. I love that. Uh, really cool. And here we have some more. And tokens and so on. And here's two green, whatever they do. But I mean, you, I, I don't know what this symbol does, but I mean, the other stuff is good as well, right? Eh? You can have two or something. Um, Macedonia, double gold token. Philippines, double stone token. Lombardy, double uh, book token. For culture, I always call them just books. Uh, some new wonders. Oh, look at this. Crack this Chevaliers, uh, four stone, it gives you double sword and four points, that's really cool. And double food over at the Great Library. Wow, yeah, this looks awesome. Oh, here's actually a, sorry, this, sorry for that. It's actually, you know, I'm just opening this. That's actually uh, eight factions, <laughs> eight different nations. So uh, there we go. So the Vikings, let's go back to this. They only have four slots, four buildings, and only start with four white dice, but they have that special uh, token that I don't know how it works. Cool. Uh, Mali, wow, they start with a three gold token. That's really awesome. Oh, here it is. A three gold token? <laughs> cool. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I mean, we recognize these nations as well, uh, the names from the nations game, so. And what is this then? Uh, I have no idea. Yellow tiles. That's new. Okay. <laughs> we have new uh, new event tiles. Uh, double food is new. And this is new. I have no idea how that works. Just a sword or a food. Okay. So yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to get into this game. I'm going to start playing it as soon as the unboxing is done. <laughs> and uh, try it out solo to start off. So that is Nations, the dice game, Unrest. And as you can see, Draco is really excited over there as well. He wants to roll all these green dice. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, why don't you go check out the Patreon page for the channel. You can just click the link up there. And you can support the channel. And every dollar counts. And there's also some rewards there. So if you back on a certain level, certain amount of dollars each month, then you will get different kinds of benefits. Uh, and you can be a small or a large or a really cool large dragon yourself. So check that out and I hope that you have a great evening or morning or whatever you're watching this. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find us at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.